Okay, so here we are on step 12A, sewing on a nose. So you can choose to use a button, you can choose a four hole button, a two hole button, or a one hole button. I taught you the four hole button, so now you should be able to sew any of those three. I'm gonna use a button, you can also stitch a nose on, or you can cut a piece of felt for your nose. So as always, you're going to come through the back. Where are you gonna place your nose? So basically, I like to place the nose up a little. So again, look at your teddy bear pattern. You're going to place your nose up so then you can form your mouth. So I'm going to take a look. Put it about right in the middle, up towards the top of the muzzle. I'm going to find one of those four holes. And remember, you go between two holes four times. I'm going to go diagonal this time. So on your project, you can go diagonal. I taught you on the sewing sampler to go across. This is just a little fancier. You want to make sure your button is nice and tight so it doesn't fall. So I'm going to sew the button on and then I'm going to show you how to then form uh, the mouth, which is step 12B. Okay, so I just finished sewing the button on, which was 12A. I went across four times between two holes across the other two way. I did it diagonal this time. I brought up the button, I shanked it, and then made a knot. So now 12B is you're gonna come up right underneath your button from the back to start forming that mouth. You're going to use the back stitch. So I'm gonna make one stitch. You always start with one running stitch. I'm gonna try to make it straight. I come up, I go back to the last stitch. It's hard, it's gonna be a little hard for you to see right now until I form it because I have to see what I'm doing too. Everybody's mouth is going to be a little different. It's not easy to form the mouth. Whoops, and I just lost my needle. So you're gonna do about four, five, six, depending on how big your stitches are, straight down, and then you're gonna try to curve it, just like your paper teddy bear pattern shows. So I have that in front of me also to use as a guide. Again, everybody's is gonna be a little different. I think I went like six. Stitches, if I could see them, I would count them. Okay, so I have right now going down from the middle of the button, and then I'm gonna start my curve, so then I'm gonna bring my needle from the back over here. So watch what I do. I'm gonna come up, whoops, over here. I'm gonna pull it, and again, I'm gonna do one running stitch. And I'm going to try curving it and bring it down to the bottom here. I'm going to come up ahead. I'm going to go back to that last stitch. I'm going to come up ahead. I'm probably going to do about two more stitches. And then I'm going to go over to the right hand side and try to even it up on the right hand side. One more. I'm going to show you, whoops, I'm not coming through. So that is one way you can see the mouth forming. And then I'm going to come up over on the right hand side. And I'm caught. And again, I'm going to do another running stitch. And I'm going to angle that one. So again, I'm going to probably do anywhere from four to five stitches. That's two, three, come up, that's going to be four. And I'm going to see how it looks and see if I have to make any changes. So again, everybody's mouth is going to be different.
Okay, so that's what mine looks like. I'm going to just end it in the back like we've ended anything, and then I'll move on to step number 13, which is sewing on the eyes.